Hey guys, how we doing? It's me, Gloria, and I'm coming to you with a happy 4th of July card. So today, I am using the Independence Day cartridge, and this cartridge, it is so full of different Independence Day. It has a hat, it has the fire truck, it got fireworks, it got the Statue of Liberty. I mean, it is so awesome, and these are all the cuts that you get. So my cut that I'm using today is this banner and this eagle. So guys, you might be saying, Gloria, hold on a second, I see some Christmas paper. What are you going to do with Christmas paper? Well guys, you know, Christmas paper is not all just for Christmas. They have different pattern papers in there that you can use on an everyday basis. You don't have to use it for Christmas. So, today I'm using the Evergreen Stack. And then, I am also using this Winter wonder stack and this is from 2011 and 2012 paper stack okay guys so let's get started my card is going to be a a2 size card so let me get my card base okay so here goes my card base so my card base is a black card stock and i have it at eight and a half by five and a quarter five and a half by eight and a half score at four and a quarter and I'm going to have it portrait style no landscape sorry guys so let's start decorating the inside now for the inside I already have my patterns papers all put together and as you can see the colors that I picked out of that Christmas paper which are these colors you have this polka dot blue and it has like really small polka dots on it and then you have this red polka dot one that is not only for Christmas guys and I needed a really dark dark blue and I couldn't find none right off my hand so I went through my Christmas paper and I found some so there goes the inside of my card I end up stamping happy birthday America you're beautiful inside and out so what I'm going to do right now I'm just going to adhere this into the base of my card so I hope everyone's having an awesome day today I had to stop doing what I was doing because I had an idea and I don't know if you guys are like me when I have an idea I need to write it down or I need to stop doing what I'm doing if I'm home and stop working on it because I will tend to forget and you know a lot of my ideas they come to me out of the spare of the moment I don't even know it and then all of a sudden I'm like oh my god that's pretty cool okay I'm gonna try that out so now I'm just gonna adhere my layers to my base of my card into the middle and that looks good right there okay and then I have this one and a quarter inch strip that I end up making and I end up using my Starlight Martha Stewart uh, corner punch not corner punch but punch and then I also use this Studio G star punch which is really small as you can see the small little stars that I put on the banner and you see how cool that is and I just did another strip of the pattern paper to kind of you know coordinate it so now what I'm going to do I'm going to adhere this in the middle just like that so let's do that guys I am so waiting um I forgot to tell you this the past couple of days for those of you that don't know, Scrappy Mom Stamps is having an awesome sale. I've been with her for the last four years, I think, buying stamps. Maybe longer than that. I'm pretty sure it was longer than that. Um, because she's been five years with her company, and I am so proud of her. I just love her stamps. And like I say, I always like to support the smaller crafting community because you know the big crafting communities they they make enough money and sometimes us crafters we like to craft stuff and it's hard for us so when you have good supporters like us to help you out is awesome but like I was saying she has a good sale going on you buy three stamp sets you get one free guys and that is amazing so there goes the inside of my card don't that look sweet now for my sentiments I end up using the Scrappy Mom stamp set and this one is called Fun Celebrations and I use Happy Birthday America 
and then I use this TPC Studios. Guys, I don't know if you noticed, but I've been doing more stamping on my cards because of my Misty. So, for those of you that don't have no idea, this is the Misty. This is, uh, Misty stands for most incredible stamping tool ever invented. Let me tell you something it is. It's a repositioner that, like, let's say if you stamp something and it don't, for those of you that haven't seen this, if you stamp something and it don't come out good, you can't normally stamp it again. Even with the stamp frisker, stamp press, I could not stamp twice and come out good. So I was wasting more than anything. But since I've got my Misty, my, my best friend, my girl, oh my god, guys, I've just been... And you know, I de-stashed a lot of my stamps and I kind of regret that now because now I actually got something that I can actually use the stamps on. So, for that stamp set, I end up using this circle one. And then for the bottom, your beautiful inside and out, I end up using this shine bright. And this is from my creative time with Emma. And it says your beautiful inside and out. So, let's start decorating the front of the card. Now, for the front of the card, I have this white card stock. Then I have my pattern papers. I have the blue pattern paper or blue paper and then I have the red cardstock and I'm going to adhere this right in the middle. So let me get some ATG, add some tape to the back of this. And I think it looks really good right there. Okay. Let me turn it backwards because if I don't want to mess up the stars that are on, on top. So now I'm just going to take my tape, my ATG, and I'm going to adhere this. Let me bring you guys down just a tad bit. So like I was saying at first, I had to stop doing what I was doing guys to come and make this card because it's either me make it or me don't make a card for a couple of days because I really didn't intend to make a card today because I've been throwing out the cards pretty much. But um, for some reason this came to me and I thought it was going to be stinking cute. And you know once you have your papers, everything else coordinates. You know, picking out your papers make a big difference. Okay, so there goes my card. And I end up stamping my sentiment. And it says, Happy 4th of July, USA. And that stamp set is from the Scrappy Mom stamp set, Dancing in Circles 2. She has part 1, and this is part 2. So, like I was also saying, because sometimes I go ahead of myself, I ordered eight stamp sets from Scrappy Mom Stamps and I can't wait to get them. And then I got the new release from Emma. This, this, uh, you know, I only needed one stamp set, but the, for me to get the whole package was much cheaper. And then I was going to get free shipping. So I just got the whole thing. So there goes my card. Okay, so now I got this one inch strip that I end up passing through my wave. Friskers uh, wave um, thing. I think this is what you call it. You take a piece of scrap paper and you just pass it through here and you clamp it and then it goes right through. And this is awesome, guys. And then it looks like this. And then, you know, a little bit it kind of stretches I and mean, shrinks a little bit, but if you stretch it back out, it'll work just fine. So I end up doing that to with this piece and now I'm just going to attach it to my card base right in the middle. And then with this I want to do the sides to make sure that it's going to adhere good. Okay. So now I'm just going to add 
my strip in between the stars and my sentiment. And that looks good right there. So look at how cool that looks. I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay, now, for my image, I end up cutting out. Let me kind of see what I cut this size out at. You know, I know a lot of you guys be asking me, oh, what size did you cut that out at? And, you know, when I'm designing, I don't never, I just... Try to fit it in the size card that I'm going to use, whether it's portrait style, portrait style, or landscape. And whatever it fits in mine, that's the size cut that I use. One of these days, I'll do a video of how I design on the design space or on your gypsy. It's the same way on the gypsy, on, but on the design space, it's a little bit better because everything's all in color. So, I end up cutting out... I cut this out at three and a half and here goes my frame and I popped it up three times two times I popped this part from this part as you can see it's popped up and then I popped the blue from the red so it's like a 3d dimensional so I'm just going to attach this right here in the middle now I was thinking about popping it up but I already have it three dimensional so I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to adhere it straight down. Okay. And as you can see, guys, look at what I used. I used me some glitter. You had to use the glitter for the back of this. You have to bring America out. And you know, now that I'm looking, I put this on backwards. Let me see if I can. Oh, thank you, Lord. I can. And that looks better. So then I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to add it to the middle. And I got it all spaced out. And I think it looks good right there. Oops. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I think that looks good right there. So now I'm just going to press on it really quick. Then for my eagle, I end up cutting out the eagle at... Mm, I cut that eagle out at 2.25. So two and a quarter. So here goes my eagle. And I popped up the wing and the head. And I got it on two sets of foam tape because I got this dimension popped up twice so what I ended up doing was popping the other ones twice and then what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of glue to the top wing so then it adheres to the paper on the top and then since the bottom already got two layers of foam tape it's just going to pop up even more okay and where's my Give me one second. Oh, this is so cool. I can't believe the 4th of July is coming up. Then, guys, I got some really good news. My son is coming down. I can't wait. I got to work one week. Kind of got me upset, but that's all right. Got to do what you got to do. But yes, my son is coming down, so I'm super, super excited. He's going to be down for two weeks, and he's going to be here for my birthday. I am so happy. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to add my eagle right there and I'm going to line it up to the center of my card. It's going to look just like that. Okay, so there you have it, guys. There goes my 4th of July card. I hope you guys enjoy. I actually really like how it came out. It was really simple, too, guys. You know, two little cuts. All it took is just the pattern paper and the design. So there you go. So it says, Happy 4th of July, USA. Happy birthday, America. You're beautiful inside and out. And I just love my Misty. I could do so much right now, guys. It's just so happy. I'm so happy. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Please thumbs up, letting YouTube know that you like my video, and also letting other YouTubers know that you like my video. And if you would like, share my video, too. You can press the share button. And leave me a comment and let me know what you think, okay, guys? I really hope you enjoy my card. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now. Bye, guys.